Amici di Virgin Radio è per noi un grandissimo piacere avere nuovamente nei nostri studi Jim Kerr from Simple Minds. How's it going? Very good, thank you. Happy to be here. What does it mean uh, for you to come back to Milan and uh, play this massive show with all the great hits of your career? Well, you know, when we started the band, all we wanted to do was to try and be a great live band and to try and take it around the world. And, and here we are all these years later, still enjoying that challenge. And every night we go on stage, no matter where we are, we try to make it, uh, well, we try to give 100%, but we really try to live up to the catalogue and the reputation and, and we... We, we try to make people leave the concert feeling not only that was great, but that was better than I thought it would be. Talking about the challenge, you said challenge. How much is challenging for you record new music nowadays? Right now is a good period. I mean, I have to be honest, you know, when you, you have a long career, some your, your career is not separate from what's going on in your life. And all of our lives, it's not always going great. But just now is a period again of fantastic energy, creative energy. Um, we only released uh, big music less than a year ago and already, apart from touring, already uh, in a studio working on the next chapter. So um, to us, to be creative is, is still who we are. It's still what we do. How much has changed for you, the creative process, uh, from uh, probably 10 years ago or 20 years ago? The technology changed. For instance, last night when I arrived in Milan, when it, it was late when I got in, but I was really ha excited to get an email with an MP3 of a new idea that we've been working on. That would have been unimaginable 20 years ago. Um, however, fundamentally, it doesn't change because the fundamental of what we do, we look for a melody, for an atmosphere, for a lyric. That's the same thing as it's always been. So the technology has changed, but not the essential. Talking about uh, big music, uh, it's an album that has been uh, super uh, good on Virgin Radio. We, we've been pushing it uh, from uh, uh, last year. Thank you. Uh, Which is the most uh, strange comments that you heard about that album or probably about your music? Something that you totally didn't expect after all those years of reviews and journalistic and words about your music. I didn't think I would ever see the day where things like New Musical Express would like Simple Minds again. You know, I thought that... <laughs> it doesn't exist anymore right now. Well, has it gone now? Well, we're still here. That's so we beat them as well. <laughs> uh, we outlasted them as well. Uh, um, it, um, you know, to get this reappraisal, um, to get this, uh, to get this across the board from from young kids and younger generations liking it. Um, I, I just didn't think I would ever see that again. Um, so that you know, it's encouraging. It's very nice. It's great figured out uh, the live concert of Simple Minds. Uh, how much is difficult for you to set up the set list of the show? Maybe uh, whenever you come out with, with a new record, you want to taste it live, but you don't have to forget. Sorry about that. You don't have to forget the hit songs and stuff like that. So how no. much is difficult for you to, to, to set up the, the set list of a show? Well, if you start with a If you start with the premise that there's no perfect life set, there is no perfect life set, especially if you're going to play, uh, um, well, on the upcoming concert, we play two sets, we have a little break in the middle, we play, uh, it's almost theatrical, and we play about 25 songs. And the, you try to hit all the buttons. People, are, people who are coming to hear the big songs, they're going to hear them. In our case, we want to have some things for the hardcore early fans. Um, Do you like the old stuff? Like this, the typical sentence that probably you, you name on a show? Um, yeah, I mean, you have to like it to, to play it and you have to still, still feel it. Um, but in a nutshell, you, you have to give a sense of the whole journey it's been on. In Simple Minds' case, 
It's always simple means music, but if you think of our music, there's a lot of genres within it. There's there's electro, there's art rock, there's pop, there's dance, there's instrumentals. We have two amazing uh, additions to the band. Uh, the two women that are with us, Catherine A.D., who sings, plays guitar. She's an artist in her own right, Sarah Brown. They make it look great, and they make it sound even better. Uh, um, so many styles, atmospheres, folk music of Belfast Child. It depends what we play on the night. We essentially play about 16 songs every night, and the other third, Chop and Change, and that keeps it fresh. Well, yeah. Thank you so much for being with us. Pleasure. You really did a great job. Thank you so much. All right.